Hello, everybody. Rami Lee here. Sorry I'm so late. <laughs> I know it's been a few days, but welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, where we last left off, uh, well, things have been rather interesting. Uh, we learned of the Lila, the main blade, I guess we'll call her. Uh, now we're on good terms with Lady Morag, so that's good. But, I've been dying to continue, so without further ado, let's do just that. Where am I even heading? I, I don't even know anymore. Well, first off, as is tradition, I want to grab this here Burke mission for later. None of this matters. Well, it looks like we're heading... Could, could I just teleport? I think I'm just gonna teleport. Why not? You know, let's let's just let's. Oh, let's well, see. There you go. <laughs> Teleporting was the key. You. Now just go. I assume there's gonna be a cutscene. Oh, huh? You're Perry Perry, right? Ah, Rex. Such coincidence to meet here. Look, he's got a little abacus. You haven't brought any cargo from Gormont, have you? Have so. Even though you were in Argentum? Came from Argentum to Gormont, then Gormont to Moradain. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. Then Tor have something to ask Perry Perry. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I'm... <clears throat> Ooh. Maybe I'm getting sick now. Hey, right, did you transport a large quantity of Bion Connector recently? Uh, oh, I see. Well, we need to know. That's right. When I ask a question, you answer. <laughs> I pray you do not stir my ire, or else I would strike you down. How many did you bring? Ten, huh? Yes, what was it for? Oh, well, good job, Perry. I see. Maybe friends find cargo at inspection point near elevator. Well, alright. Well, I hope you have all enjoyed your week so far. Uh, I've been enjoying uh, Awesome Games Done Quick. Uh, winter edition. Uh, guys, wh why, why are you standing on that cargo transport thingy? G get off of there. Well, it looks like we're heading heading back up. Yeah, I got to watch the... Uh, I've got to see everything of... Ooh. Looks like we missed a side quest. I've got to see everything that they've done for AGDQ, but... I took some time to, you know, see the Metal Gear Solid 3 run, which was pretty nice. And uh, the Resident Evil 4 run, which I never got to beat that one, so, you know, it, it, was, it was fun. Uh, sure. Of course, Jack. How, how, could, how could I forget you? Anyways, this will be side quest stuff, so. Nothing to worry about here. Let's just get on with it. I see. Uh, yeah, we meet again. I, I remember you. Absolutely. No need to fact check. Can I? I don't think I can. I can. I cannot. <laughs> That's for the elevator. Well, well now, hold, hold on a sec. I, I'm getting all jumbled here. This is what happens when you haven't played games for a while. Oh. Well, now, hold on a second. Alright, everyone. Looks like I was in the wrong. But I'll... I guess I'll beat you when we reach the destination.
Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. I can't see any. Hmm, this is most troubling. Alright, I'm sorry everyone, uh, I didn't, I forgot to say I'm back, but while I was trying to get to the destination, I started having a sneezing fit, so I wasn't sure if I was done. Ugh, sorry about the sniffling. Every time. Weren't there some over there the first time we came here? Come to think of it, I do recall something of that nature. Well, I don't. According to memory of Poppy, yellow barrels were definitely there. So that means someone must have picked them up already. Right you are, Joe March. But how do we find them? Well, that leaves us without any leads. <laughs> oh, man! Yeah, Tori, I, your determination is admirable. Uh, let's see. Oh. Right you are, Poppy. <laughs> well, let's get to it, then. Yeah, and I'm not sure what triggered it, but obviously, if you look at Mithra here, something's not right about her look. I guess for sensory issues, they gave her, like, leggings and covered up her uh, exposed parts of her outfit. You know, people always gotta be censored things. But you know what? You know what? Nuts to them, because I I actually think the leggings are an improvement, so you lose. <laughs> Take that, censors. Such is their folly. Yeah, so how, how about that? Oh god, wh why am I so lost? Right, let's jump over the edge. And break my legs. Oh. Is it? Have you seen the yellow barrels? Hey! No need to get an attitude. So, that's the way you're gonna play it, huh? But I already own these. Alright, I'll, I'll buy some more. Now I own you. Tor want to know if somebody bought certain parts in large quantity or took them to somebody. When you say certain parts. Oh jeez, don't, don't go off listing them all again, Tora. <laughs> really? We're doing this again? <laughs> oh Nia, you're the best. Hold it. <laughs> Good. When Tora gets cut off, it makes me happy. Alright, so an old guy had a regular customer pur uh, purchasing Black Ash. I see. Well, get on with it. Right you are, Tora. We got him. And where can we find him? Isn't that odd? I can't seem to recall. Maybe if you bought something, it might jog my- Oh, you are asking for a backhand, buddy. <laughs> but I'll refrain, because I don't want to erase you from existence. That's right. That's how powerful I am. And if you- <laughs> and if you aggro me, you will just see- What's that? Thanks for your custom? Well, I guess I have a customer. You know, whatever. I see. You don't tell me what to do. Well, sorry for the slow start to the episode, everyone, but let's... Let's get on with this. Let's get to where the action is. Excuse me. Yeah, those things take up the whole street. Well, everybody. Meh, meh, meh. Bye -bye, Quiet, Tora. 
I'll try to talk. Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, it's not too far away. Ooh, new area. Oh, we're, we're almost there, so no, no point editing it out. What have we here? You know, I feel off my game now that I haven't done this in like a a few days. A giant turbine. Oh God, it's hurting me. I didn't think it would. New materials. Ah, I snuck up on you. <laughs> huh? You want something? Tor want to ask about Black Ash. About Black Ash, huh? Let me guess. Is it's been blabbing, has he? <laughs> that correct? Honestly, that little punk. But hey, it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. So sure, I'll tell you. What do you want to know? Have you been so? Oh God. We saw a giant scorpion. Have you been selling large quantities of black ash to someone? I don't know if I'd call it that large. Just a few barrels at a time, every now and then. Uh, scorpion, could you stop interrupting our cutscene? Thank you. Thank you. If using, if using a shielding agent for ether furnace, maybe not need such large quantity all at once. Oh, okay. Who are you selling them to? Or who are you delivering them to? Near the entrance to the old industrial district. I just dropped the goods off where I'm told to, so I haven't seen the buyer or anything. Right you are, Nia. That is very suspicious. I do reckon, Timel. They're reliable with their money, and they pay a fair price. Can't say I ever thought anything seemed off. And after all, if you're going to build something outside the city, why bother having it carried inside? Not to mention that meeting up in person would mean having to schedule a time that suits both people. I guess that's a fair point, but still. What's your next delivery? <laughs> Ten days. Ten days? Perhaps we should simply enjoy an extended hot... Now, Gramps. Don't get me started. <laughs> don't get started with this. Right you are, Joe March. I see. Nia's got a point. <laughs> Start with that next time. Bright green. Bright green? I thought we were looking for bright yellow. Hmm, very suspicious. Well, everyone, we have our our journey cut out for us. Let, let's Let's get going. Yeah, lately I've been feeling bad about the games I haven't played that that I started playing for the channel. And I'm not, I'm not sure why I fell into this rut. Like, uh, Fire Emblem of Three Houses is definitely one regret. And oh. Oh, Do we take we this? Going. I think so. I hope so. Uh, I gotta get back into Death Stranding, but it's just hard because I don't usually intend to make hour-long episodes. I want to keep them around 22 minutes, but Death Stranding and... Well, now I gotta go up. Uh, so I went on a wild goose chase here. But games like Death Stranding and Fire Emblem, sometimes you can't help it. So I guess that's why I've kind of been hesitant to get back into them. But I do apologize if anyone's enjoyed them. Uh oh. I'll meet you all at the destination. Alright everyone, I'm back. Before I hit the destination, I was trying to get to this heart to heart. So let's do it. Poor are Danes so full of wasteland and hard rocks. Not easy for walking. Should we take a rest around here? Good idea, yes. You need to toughen up a bit, Tora. Yeah. Tora lived whole <laughs> life cooped up in house working on building Poppy. Not used to walking long distance. If only Tora could flitter flutter like Gramps. Well, you have those big ear wing things. Not 
on wings not for flying could flap forever and not reach sky. If you're really having a hard time walking, you could ask Dromart to give you a ride. Oh, Rex Rex is genius! I think not. I have solemnly sworn to carry none other than my lady. Go on, it can't hurt. What? <laughs> Are you sure about this, my lady? If you allow Tora to ride me now, soon he will want Poppy to join him. And there will be no space left for you. Well, when you put it like that... Sorry, Tora. Guess that's a no. Disappoint. Pyra, are you okay walking? Oh, yes. I'm fine. Though all the dust clouds do bother me a little. Oh, yeah, those are a pain. Gets in your eyes sometimes. Poppy also not like that. Small particles get in joints and cause nasty creaking when moving. Must ask Master Pond to clean out and get out of this place. Rex Rex? It seemed like more Ardain tricky place for everyone. Rex Rex have any bright ideas for helping? Don't ask me. Well, let's see. We got a choice to make. <laughs> would anyone like to borrow one of my salvage suits? I suppose that would help keep the sand out. I've got a spare you could borrow. You want to try it on? I don't know if it'll fit, Rex. Actually, I guess Nia's is the only one who it would really fit. Uh oh. <laughs> Go on then. I'll give it a try. If it really is useful, we can buy a whole bunch of them sometime. My lady, that suits you surprisingly well. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's cool. I like how it's a different color. It's actually a really cool color scheme. I like it. So this is what it's like for Rex when he goes salvaging, huh? Yes, how... How suspicious that a... Suit for... Males... Fits Nia so well. Hmm. Yes. Keeps the sand out pretty well, right? Well, yeah, it does that. But I can't really see. Peripheral vision's awful in this thing. It's hard to move about in, too. It might not be very practical for combat. Yeah, I don't think I could fight like this. Looks like genius idea of Rex Rex, not so genius after all. Well, it was worth a try. Yeah, sue me. Jeez. Those heart to hearts are always funny. <laughs> Oh. Now if I could sneak past this creature and get to the destination, that would be very fun. Oh. Well, well, well. Green barrels, this must be it. And hey, aren't those the yellow barrels from before? Bion connectors and black ash. Materials for constructing artificial blades without a doubt. The only question is, where are they going to be taken next? Yes, are there any clues, Poppy? Ah, oh, a note, you say. And it's no pawn writing. I say we've, uh, all the clues correlate. Oh! I forgot to mention this. Um, when I was watching my last video, something dawned on me. In the cutscene where that, that no pawn comes in packing heat and shoots the grandfather, I noticed because the. The cutscene wasn't completely black and white. Uh, you could still see a bit of color. I noticed the gunman had a green hue. I'm like, wait a minute. W was it the scientist guy, uh, Mui Mui, who did all this? Let's find out. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't there. And the guy was wearing a mask. Well, the Nopon, I mean. Neither of you could read it. Wow. That really must be bad. I suppose we'll simply have to decipher it somehow. That's one option, but would it not be easier to simply keep watch on the barrels themselves? You say that, but we have no idea when the recipient will pick them up. How about right now? 
Yes, I'd rather not wait for five days. Sounds like the perfect mission to leave to our mercenary allies. You would. <laughs> what shall we go for then? Well. Wow! World has many oh. amazing places in it. Perhaps rest and enjoy view for a bit. Leave nothing oh. to Poppy. Good job, Poppy. Tor could read. Managed to read, but Poppy's the one who. What? As usual, deliver goods to certain facility around chest area of more ordained titan. You're right, Nia. That doesn't seem very specific. Of course. Tora, tell Morag how Tora was ki- Tora, I am gonna throw you off of this titan. Yeah, you tell him, Nia. <laughs> the rest of his life with it? Oh, I assure you, Joe March, he doesn't have that long. <laughs> if we head to the palace, the guard should get in touch. Uh, get us in touch with Morag. Yes, that was what she said. Shall we then? Excellent. Oh! So, if you didn't have Poppy leveled up enough to do so, then you could do a Merc mission to get the info? Is that, is that what I'm... Is that what I'm picking up here? Alright. Uh, hello? Well, now, where am I supposed to... I think we start here. Will this be closer? Off we go. What will we find? Uh, I'll meet you all there. And arrived. Oh. <clears throat> Alright everyone, I'm back. It was only like a 30 second detour, but... <laughs> yes. We'd already received word from Special Inquisitor Morag. You've a lead on the artificial blade, I hear. Hold on, I'll pass you over to the Special Inquisitor herself. Excellent. I see. There was indeed once a factory there. However, it was abandoned some 30 years ago. So, you think we've got him? We can't be certain unless we investigate. Shall we go? You. We won't do anything reckless. If it seems dangerous, we'll turn back. How's that sound? Hmm. To tell the truth, it would be difficult for me to dispatch the military so quickly. Would you? Sure thing. Now, let me share what information I have found. There are rumors about town that an esteemed Nopon merchant is involved in this affair. An esteemed Nopon merchant? Chairman Banner? Well, we're currently searching the transaction records. If we find anything, we'll inform you. Pretty busy, eh? I don't deny it. I will head to the location myself as soon as I am able to mobilize some troops. All right, then. I see. I knew Banna was a ne'er-do-well this whole time. After all, he did set us up to get murdered. Well, I don't know how to feel about this episode. <laughs> I feel like I'm not gaining any traction here, but... Once again, this has been Robbie Lee. If you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always... I will see you lovelies. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still working on that. In the next episode. Uh, see you next time.